You know what, Andrew Hills? My old lady thinks she practiced black magic. She won't even be in this video. That's how shady you look to some people. So I'm going to give you a chance to, to look a little less shady. I got three questions. And if you can half-ass answer three of these, and they're satisfactory, I'll give you a thumbs up and we'll move on. Okay? But if not, I got to look into you, dude. I have gotten so many emails and stuff, and I'm not even going to bring up what they're about. But you look super shady right now. Just saying. Question one, and this is going to seem like a dig, and it's not meant to be. Why do you like pandas so much? And that's no dig at all. Dude, I'm asking because I keep getting told that they're a sign of abused, abused children. That's what the dark circles represent. That's what I'm being told by lots of people. And I, I would just say, if I was you, I would just get rid of the pandas. You know, I know you're probably going to be like, ah, oh, I don't change for nobody. Why not just get rid of them, dude? If it ain't nothing shady, you're a grown man, dude. I know you have other interests. I've heard about your Pokemon and your gaming. So just lose them, dude. Get rid of them. Do us all a favor. I ain't got to keep answering people. Because it looks super cringy and shady when a grown-ass man has pandas. I'm, surely that it don't mean that much to you. You know? And if it... It's just a horrible look, dude. You know? if you want, I, I hear you talking about your subscribers and stuff on YouTube. If you want to try doing better, you know, you don't have to be creepy like that. They shouldn't be that important to you that you have to keep them. I wouldn't think, you know. And a lot of people seem to think that's what pandas represent. So, I'd just take them out of respect for that, you know. If I found out something I was doing was coming off super creepy, I just so I wouldn't offend the people that really believe that, you know, I, I'm a grown ass man. I can stay away from pandas. It ain't going to crush me. Question number two. Why'd you lie so damn much? I don't get it. I really don't. You know, as well as I do, you put it out off like you were in contact with Jose at times we know you weren't. Now, I've heard the story. Well, I didn't talk to him, but my buddy slash brother Jeffy talked to him. And he told me, okay, then you need to ask him, why was you bullshitting me? Right? That don't make any sense to me. Because you made it out like it was you talking to him. And I don't get that. I don't get it if it was because you thought that would make you more more um, viewed, you know, more interesting. But that was, if you lied about that, just come out and say it, dude. Own up to it. Just be like, I lied. I didn't have no clue as to anything about Jose. And you look better. You know? And if your buddy did just screw it up, everything about Jose, and he was lying, call it straight out, clear that up. But I think you need to just lay the answer to that out there and then everybody can move on. Number three. The trip from New York to Tennessee. Because we all got questions. Okay? I've heard Jose's version and it sounds like straight bullshit. I'd like to hear yours, dude. Was it really people moving down, the house got sold, or the house fell through, and then they got all their furniture, all their shit down there, they're like, well, there's only one thing to do now, is running back to New York. 
Really? That don't make any sense to me. At all. You know, when I move, I get utilities cut on ahead of time. That way, when I get there, the shit's turned on. Are you telling me whoever did this went through all that and then it fell through? None of that makes sense to me. None of that. And it don't make sense to anybody else either. At all. None of that makes sense to anybody. So we're not buying that. You know, if the trip was about something else, it, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. Because I don't think you'll be able to explain that. And that's why everybody wants to look into you, dude. You're, a, you're suspect as hell to people. I get, I'm not that big, and I get tons of people, oh, you need to check this Andrew guy out, man, he's weird, so off about him. So that's what I do, true crime. I really want to find out who did this. You don't see no cash apps crawling across my shit. I want justice for little Miss Summer, and I tell you, I'm so suspicious that your trip, even if it wasn't um, anything to do with summer, was nefarious in some way. Now, I'm, I'm hoping I could be wrong, I, I, but the stories I've heard make no sense. Zero. And it makes you look shady. And you should have been worrying about visiting your son while you were down there. And I hear you just 180 it straight back. But I'm not going there because I'm not bringing him up. You've done it way too much. And you need to just chill out. But if you'll answer those three satisfactorily, I'll tell everybody, y'all need to leave Andrew alone. He ain't in on nothing. He's clean as a whistle. But if you can't answer those half-assed, then... You look bad, dude. You look guilty, and we will find out. Eventually, we will know.